Hi there, week 26. Welcome. Things are going great. Not a lot to do this week. My gardening calendar from the Farmer's Almanac tells me I can plant spinach seeds outside this weekend, so I'm going to do that. They tell me I can plant potatoes, but I don't have any seed potatoes. So tomorrow I'm going to go see if I can buy some. So that might be an addendum to this week's video if I succeed in buying some potatoes tomorrow. They say me, I, tell me I can plant garlic, but they say I can wait. Uh, I'm going to wait on that probably till September, October when I get another birdie's bed. Put it somewhere. Put some garlic in it. Let that grow over the winter. Uh, yeah, so not a, not a lot to do. I've got to harvest my peppers. Lots of peppers to harvest. Maybe some other stuff. Uh, and we'll do a little tour. But things are going well. Things are growing nicely in the hoop house, which is very exciting. Uh, I have mostly solved my miserable problem with the squirrels. They... They've won the battle with the tomatoes, but everything else I have beat them back. And things are growing nicely. Let's take a look at things, shall we? Here are my soybeans. You'll remember these I planted just two weeks ago. And there, they're going gangbusters. And then the other ones are all finding the trellis, starting to grow on the trellis. Very nice. Uh, hopefully these just take this over, which would be fantastic. I want some edamame. Lufa number one, going well. Going up, 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 but no loofahs. I have no loofahs on any of my loofahs. It is so sad, but they, I do like their vines. Uh, fennel, this stuff is going okay. Yeah, it's getting pretty thick, it's bulbing a little bit. Everything's so dry this morning, I got water. I'll do that next. But, uh, you know, I think this was too shallow for fennel, really. But it should work at least a little bit. We have watermelon. New watermelon, I think. I can't remember what that is. I thought that was watermelon, but the leaves, though. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a big new watermelon. Everything's just doing better this time around. So that's exciting. Um, not sure I want to... Oh, my God. I just ripped off part of it. Huh? Let's put that back on there. Uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, this, a squirrel is currently trying to get... Uh, it's come off twice now. So I have to clip that back on. I'm probably just going to move that today into the hoop house. This will probably go in the new class too. That's some new cucumbers. Actually, I think that's new watermelon too. Anyway, these are going to move into the hoop house. So they're bursting out of their cages. So they're going in the hoop house. These are some peppers. I don't think these are going to get big enough through the fall to produce peppers. But it's been a good experiment. Thai basil, Thai basil, Foley basil, all doing great. Pepper plant getting too big for its cage. Moving into the hoop house. God, my hoop house is going to be full. I'm going to need a new hoop house. My giant sweet basil. Just immense. Just immense. Multiple. Three bees. Four bees working on it right now. And we got so many. These basils are just so big. I don't know. Just letting them go. They're huge. Uh, this part over here I do keep relatively trimmed. So I can have some big leaves. It's kind of an experiment to see if the leaves on this part stay bigger than the leaves on the part I'm not picking the flowers on. So that's an interesting experience. So far, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of difference. Carrots, as we're getting right, about ready to harvest, I think we're going to pick them this week, maybe next. Let's pick this big one, see what we got here. Ugh. Well, it's small, but it's a carrot. That's pretty cute, actually. I could get into that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's, oh my god, I can smell it from here. Just beautiful, beautiful carrot smell. Uh, some more peppers. Those two are getting big. Probably going to need to move into the hoop house. Some more basils. And my one biggest fennel. It's not really bulbing up down there, though. I don't know what's up with my fennels. They're getting big, but they're not bulbing. Is that bolted? Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't know anything about fennel. I keep meaning to look, but I don't get around to it. Peppers. Birdie's bed number one of peppers. Primarily Thai and Shishido. Looking good. Looking good. Lots of peppers. Lots of peppers on here. Look at these good Thai peppers here. We're going to be picking these today. Uh, some shishitos here. And then we have pepper bed number two. You will recall that pepper plant and that pepper plant. I did not trim back, but all of these I trimmed back. And they are very big now. No peppers on them yet, but I'm ex expecting it any week now. But there's a lot of peppers in here. Yeah, okay. A lot of peppers in here that I can pick today. 
on the other pepper plants, especially around over here. This one, look at that beautiful red pepper. These are all still not red yet. This whole batch I'm waiting for. I want them red. I want them red. Here we have the tomatoes, which have been eaten heavily this week. I think the animals have realized this is all they're gonna get and they've just decimated them. We have two tomatoes on here that are just about ready to pick. And I don't know why they haven't eaten them yet. But look at that, they just ate everything. <laughs> it's crazy, these are doing so well. They're doing well up here where they can't get, but the rest just eaten, 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 eaten. Everything needs to be in cages. And on that note, look at my beautiful hoop house. Look at all this stuff. Look at these pepper plants that have bounced back after being cut. These shishito plants. My grape plant is growing. My beans, these are last week's, the old beans that they ate them all, they're bouncing back too. Everything's bouncing back. There's another grape plant. Here's my new beans. It's going fantastically. Should be getting beans off of these any day now. It's very exciting. I think by next week we should have some beans. I'm gonna move a lot more in here today, I think. Grape, grape, cucumbers. Look how big they are. They're bigger than my other cucumbers I ever got. Which is fantastic. I kinda need more hoop house space. I might extend it right here. Put another hoop and some more stuff. Or on the back end. I don't know. I'm thinking about that today. We're thinking about that today. Ooh. Lufa. Hold on a second. Tomato. Roma. Eaten. Attacked. Has some tomatoes on it that might make it. But in general, a lost cause. Lufa. Very healthy. Looking great. Big Lufa. Look at that. But, no loofahs. It's so sad. I want loofahs. Am I doing something wrong? Do you need to, like, do something to get loofahs out of your loofah plants? Why do I have no loofahs? I don't know. Sad cucumber. Happy cucumber. What's the difference? Who knows? Sad cucumber. Sad watermelons. But there's a watermelon there. Sad, sad, sad. The porch is not doing well. These cherry tomato plants still getting eaten. Not doing well. Not doing well. Basil's up here do well. And upstairs, tomatoes. We're getting tomatoes, but the plants have been so decimated. Those are good. I can pick those today. That's exciting. Some good Romans here. Sam Marzano, sorry. Yeah, I'll pick all those today. That one's coming. So we're getting tomatoes, but the plants themselves are so beautiful. So the squirrels can't get in, but they climb on it and they still break branches. So it's just hurting the tomato plants, even if they can't get to the tomatoes. So my tomatoes here. So it's not been the best approach, but I think I will get some tomatoes. So not a complete failure. That's celery. That's doing okay. Kind of sad cucumber plant. My tabletop basil collection. The lunch basils, some more celery, Thai basil, and lettuce that should not be growing this time of year. Uh, sage, parsley, that's still doing well. Thai basil, mint, thyme, basil, two years old, I cut all the way back. It is growing again, it's kind of fun. Two, two year old Thai basils, I'm just letting, I think these are done. I've eaten enough of those. Uh, rosemary, Time, a sad holy basil and a sad celery. So that's everything. Let's do some harvesting.
Man, really gotta get the nine foot hoop house so I don't have to bend over so much. But yeah, all the grapes, cucumbers, watermelons, peppers. That pepper's already sprouting peppers and I need to stake it. But everything the squirrels and deer were trying to get is now in the hoop house. Except for those tomatoes, of course. They're a lost cause, but it looks good. And everything's watered. And I got my pepper pick for the week. Doesn't look like a lot. There are probably five times that many actually growing, but these are the fully grown ones, and I want the other ones to grow a lot, and I just wanted what I needed for the week. So that's all we picked this week. I'm just checking in on the seedlings in the garage. Uh, the cucumbers are hilarious. <laughs> these are planted before the cucumbers outside, and the cucumbers outside are huge already, so I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something essential about cucumbers. <laughs> But I got these as backups, I guess. Cucumbers and lettuce go outside in about a month. Spinach. Um, but yeah, cucumbers, cauliflower, and lettuce. So that brassicas will go outside in about a month. And then the spinach. I mean, we're gonna plant some outside today or tomorrow. So I don't even know if this is gonna get used. Same with these backup peppers. These are just in case my other peppers didn't work out. They seem to be working out okay. But we're gonna do some watering and thinning on this stuff. Next day, I have watered everything and fertilized it this morning. It is a hundred and, well, it's 94 degrees with a real feel of 106. It's very hot. I only have one more thing I'm supposed to do this week, and it is to plant the spinach seeds. Farmer's Almanac says this is the week to do it, but it's so hot, I'm so dubious. But I guess it's always hot in August. And they say it's when you're supposed to plant your outdoor seeds. Bye bye, bee. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But the only planter I have left right at the moment is this one that I've been using as a hose bucket. I really like it as a hose bucket, but I'm gonna use it as a planter. So we're gonna take that hose out, we're gonna fill it with dirt, amend the dirt, fertilizer, stuff like that, and plant some spinach seeds. So let's do it. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, planted, amended, mulched, and put a bell on top. It's a pretty clever system, that bell. It's two pieces. The bottom piece is an extender made specifically to fit whiskey barrels of this size. But the problem is, they've got these little hooks to keep the top part to the bottom part, but when you push the bottom part down to wedge it on tight, then it widens the bottom part so the hooks don't work. Sorry, I just cable ties, but it's all set. So I think we're done for this week. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week.